Rays hosting the Royals, and the Royals are minus 118 on the money line. The Rays are plus 100. The over-under is 7.5 runs. The Royals laying a run and a half on the run line are plus 136, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win by two or more. And the Rays getting a run and a half on the run line are minus 164, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you'd win, or they lose by one run, you would win. Now, these are the overnight odds. They're going to change the closer we get the first pitch tomorrow. Weather will not be a factor because of the Dome in Tampa. Lugo did not pitch against the Rays either last season or this season. Armstrong pitched once. It was in relief. Two innings, no runs, no earned. They won that game 4-2, to two, and he struck out two. Head-to-head, the Rays are 6-4. and four. The home team's 5-5. Five and five. The favorite is 6-4 and four on the money line. The favorite or the underdog getting or laying runs is 5-5. Five and five. There have been three one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The under is 6-4, and four, and the under 7.5 runs is 6-4. and four. The Royals are 4-1 and one in Lugo's last five starts. He's averaging six and two-thirds innings pitched, 4.2 hits, 1.4 runs, 1.2 of which were earned, 8.8 strikeouts in those games, 1.2 walks, 0.8 home runs, 97.8 pitches, and 14.3 pitches per inning. And he's only had two games in his last five starts where he's thrown under 100 pitches. One, he threw 96. The other game, he threw 77. And you guessed the game that he threw 77 was a game that they lost the under has hit in his last two, and the under is 3-1-1 one, one in his last five starts. For the Rays, they are 2-1 and one in Armstrong's three starts this season. The over has hit in all three of them, and he hasn't gone more than two innings. So this is going to be another bullpen game for the Rays. It'll be interesting to see uh, what happens. The Royals are 8-2 and two in their last 10. They are on a six-game winning streak. The over-under is 5-5 five and five in their last 10, and the over has hit in their last four games. 12 runs, 11 runs, 13 runs, and 11 runs. 8 runs and a win, 8 runs and a win, 10 runs and a win, 8 runs and a win. So they're scoring, and they're, they're scoring quite a bit. Granted, their opponents were the Tigers and the A's, but you play who's in front of you. For the Rays, they are 5-5 five and five in their last 10. The under is 7-3 and three in their last 10, and they are on a four-game losing streak to their division rivals, the Blue Jays and the Red Sox. Seven runs, five runs, seven runs, 13 runs. Two runs and a loss, shut out and a loss, two runs and a loss, and then five runs in a loss. I am going to go Royals with the money line, Royals laying the runs, and I'm going to go under. I'm barring something unforeseen where the Rays bullpen really chokes. The Rays have been pretty good at doing uh, pitching staff by committee. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.